It's been a long journey home for these southern brush-tailed rock wallabies. We're really happy to welcome the wallabies home today. Close to four months into state and now quarantine on home soil before joining their cousins in the main reserve. We can watch them really closely, um, monitor them for disease for about 60 days and then once they're done here they'll get to move back out. Rangers say there are fewer than 40 pure southern brush-tailed rock wallabies in the wild. It's hoped the Tidbin Billa population of 24 will play a role in the species' survival. The Auroral Valley fire at the start of this year triggered an elaborate evacuation operation. The entire population was airlifted, courtesy of the Defence Force, to Sydney's Taronga Zoo and Mount Rothwell Conservation Reserve in Victoria. The partnership that we've had with Mount Rothwell and of course Taronga Zoo as well has been fantastic in that we can work with different jurisdictions and different partners in supporting uh, this breeding program. Unsure if or when the wallabies could return, rangers sent them off in their breeding groups. As the animals are getting caught up, especially females, we'll continue to do pouch checks and see if anybody, um, anybody did reproduce while they were over there. Rangers have scoured over 100 hectares of habitat for predators that may have entered during the fire. June 8th is when we completed the last predator monitoring and, and have ticked it off and said we are now predator free in all of our predator free sites here at Tidbin Billa. The final 13 brush tailed rock wallabies are set to return to Tidbin Billa in coming weeks. Peter Doherty, ABC News, Canberra.